Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to report noise ordinance violations. When dealing with noise that violates local ordinances, it is crucial to follow a systematic approach to ensure your complaint is addressed effectively. Initial steps. First, try to resolve the issue amicably by talking to the source of the noise. This could be a neighbor or a business. Polite requests to lower the volume can often resolve the issue without further escalation. Contacting your landlord. If the noise is coming from a neighbor in your building, contact your landlord or property management company. They are responsible for ensuring that tenants have a peaceable living environment. Filing a noise complaint. If talking to the source or your landlord does not work, you can file a noise complaint. In New York City, for example, you can call 311, the city's non-emergency number, or file a complaint online through the 311 portal or using the NYC 311 app. Providing detailed information. When filing a complaint, provide as much detail as possible, including the type of noise, the location, the time it occurred, and whether it is a recurring problem. This helps authorities to identify and address the issue more effectively. Understanding local noise ordinances. Familiarize yourself with local noise ordinances. These ordinances specify what constitutes excessive and unreasonable noise, often measured in decibels, DBA, and varying by time of day and source of the noise, involving community and authorities. If the issue persists, consider involving your community. Joining or forming a noise coalition can amplify your voice and pressure authorities to take action. You can also contact your local city council member or neighborhood coordination officer for assistance. Legal actions. In severe cases, you may need to take legal action. This could involve serving the noisy party with a notice or filing a small claims court action. Additionally, if your landlord fails to address the issue, you can consider an HP housing part action for failure to provide a peaceable living environment. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.